would like to welcome you to bemorenews.com, the news before the news where we uncover the truth. Here with entertainment and media mogul, Frank Johnson. How Breakfast are you, sir? Breakfast with Donnie. Breakfast with oh Donnie. Oh my gosh, that's a new show. Breakfast with Donnie. I love it. Ah, the marketing is coming out. Ah, it's coming back, Donnie. Frank, I have some breaking news to tell you. Did, did you know that I got an Emmy nomination? Dr. An Tyrone. Emmy nomination? Yeah, Dr. Tyrone Tabor and Career right. Communications Group on February the 1st nominated your mans and them for a... Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, Emmy for the Chesapeake and Capital Region. So, uh, Frank, what, what have you been up to? Get, get, wow. get, 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 can, can we get a little song, man? Um, this guy said a little song. We fall down and we get up. We fall down. But we get up, we fall down, but we get up. Wow, that song gave me chills. Or you know why? The scene is just a sinner who, who fall down. Go ahead, Frank. That's just to let you know that, man, you know, in life, I don't care how rich, how powerful, how famous you are, you go through things in life. But imagine this. Receiving a blessing with not understanding of how you got there. Getting somewhere and not knowing how you got there. How do you get back? How do you... It's a blessing and a lesson, people. So, so, lesson. so, Frank, tell me about this uh, logo on, on your head. Oh, it's my uh, clothing line that I'm working on developing. So, my wife bought me a... Uh, uh, heat press and a vinyl cutter uh, for my birthday because you know I'm in the creative. Just a small one. So I've started creating these. Um, you always wanted to have a clothing line called Xavier Lindo, but you know I kind of redeveloped it because I was trying to use create the logo, the X and the L, which is Louis Vuitton. And I said, eh, that don't work. So I kind of remixed it a little bit. X the air. So move the X in replace of the A and the A first, which is X the air Lindo. So X the air Lindo. Okay. So uh, what else have you been up to? You know what? Just, you know, sometimes I believe we have to go into hibernation and go into a process of re... Oh, Frank, I know you. You're you, you about to bust out with something. Remaking ourselves, and that's what I'm doing. And that's really all I can say because everything is so... In the works, I don't want to. You know, I was. I learned over the years not to share too much information. Okay. Well, let, let's go into some history. But I'm working this... on some projects that people are going to be really excited about, and they're right in alignment with, with uh, uh, on course with what's going on right alignment. now. Alignment. Right. Okay. Did I say alignment? Yeah, yeah. I, I got you. I, uh, I hear this word uh, from people who seek order in their lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's me, Mr. Need to Seek Order in my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, l l let, me, let me get to this. Uh, this is Black History Month. Mm. And who would you like to pay homage to? I'd like to pay homage to Donnie Glover. Oh, come on, man. I I'm just keeping it real because, you know, we can pay homage to Mar Dr. Martin Luther King. We can pay homage to so many other people. And I can pay homage to Kevin Lyles, one of my mentors, a very good friend of mine, Chief Rocker Busy B. Good, a lot of good, my, my homeboy uh, Malik Blandon, who's been a entrepreneur and really propelling business. I can pay homage to Have you people, seen Busy B but lately? I, but I, but I okay. specifically said pay homage to you because it brings me back to that underground railroad scenario. And looking back at how not only have you reinvented yourself, and I remember times when you were uh, a bit um, intimidated by technology and, and certain things. And looking at you today, you know, just in conversation and no one doing it for yourself, you wouldn't figure it out. And look at you now, you've expanded. And I would, I, would, I would say, and I'm not saying this as a slight on you, you've come light years away and you're now international versus domestically, so. All right, come on, Frank. Some other people, man. You, you mentioned Kevin Lyles. What about? Who is Kevin Lyles to you? Uh, Kevin Lyles. I mean, everybody knows Kevin Lyles. Kevin Lyles is a uh, entertainment executive, um, very successful uh, businessman, uh, entertainment executive, entrepreneur. I like to say, um, who's really excelled in in his field and, and 
done great things and a lot of things outside of that that he doesn't get enough uh, accolades for. But it's not about accolades for him and that's where it should be for most people. It shouldn't be about what you see on the gram or you know what people say about you. It should be about fulfilling yourself. Frank, what that. artists have you worked with? Oh, wow. See, Jay-Z was my boss at Def Jam. Um, good Lord. Name them. Mariah Carey, uh, Rihanna, um, T.I., Most Def, Talib Kweli, Big L, Chief Rocka Busy B, um, Diddy. Um, shout out to my man Raheem Devon, my homeboy uh, Mario. Um, pretty rich. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's so hard for me to say Jeezy. You want to get into the rap world, uh, main up. I mean, it's so many. It's so many, and I've and, and I've uh, been a part of the successes of over one million records, um, number one records on the Frank, Billboard charts. Yes. You, you showed me a graphic earlier of the discography of Frank Johnson. Right, I was just looking the other day, and a friend of mine sent me. He was he was like, Frank, I didn't know you did this record. Well, what's on it? Can you run it down for me? Um, there's just records. If you know, if you log on to Discog, which is D I S C O G, and you once you get there and you type in Frank Johnson, it'll pull up all of the records that I have, uh, you know, produced or wrote or did in my life. Man. And I never really, I never really. Oh, I, I, I want to get it for the record. What do you want to get? You want to get a picture the, of it? No, 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 no. What I want you to get? tell me what's. Yeah, read it. Read it all. Well, there's a lot of records on here. I mean, I, I wrote a record called uh, by my, for my best friend. Her name was BB. God rest her soul. It was called um, uh, No More Nonsense um, and so forth. It's a record actually. If you listen to radio in the area, you'll still hear that the, the beat to that record uh, being meshed in with a lot of the DJ mixes. Um, I had you know I used to do house music. I used to write house music, and I have uh, probably about six different albums of club and house music and they're just songs music and they're incredible i did this record on you know this artist named tony t i uh, was on this label called rooftop records uh coming out on profile records which was the label that run dmc was on and it's interesting because the day the night of his album release party when they were about to launch his album he was standing in front of his, this was in New York, Hunt 55th and, and uh, Hunt 55th and um, 8th Avenue, where the, if anybody knows the rooftop. And just as, hey beautiful, and just as um, he was about to go celebrate for his album release party, he was headed home to change. Someone walked up to him and shot him in his head, killed him instantly the day of his album release party. But any instance, that album fits well with me because Teddy Riley, who, it again. That, that, that album fits, you'll see Tony T, Time to Get Physical, that's the one of the songs I produced on it, as well as other songs, um, but that album is significant to me because that album was when Teddy Riley taught me how to work, first time he ever taught me how to work a drum machine and produce music and gave me the concept of it, which made me fall in love with producing and writing music. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we talked with Richard Burton earlier. Oh, today. gosh. <laughs> R.B. is what we call him. My man. You know, you, you and Richard have Richard. taken your skills around the world. Yeah, and Richard is still going around the world where he's straight performing. Of, straight out of Baltimore. Richard's performing with DJ Spin uh, and Fruity on stages. Oh, my gosh. But there's a question for you, Frank. What can we do to change your hometown for the better? Change Baltimore? Yes. You know, and I'm gonna say this, and I, I'm gonna say this unapologetically and respectfully to our politicians of Baltimore. I wish at some point we stand for something or fall for anything because I'm not sure, you know, and, and I'm sure it's, it's, it's small changes because obviously, you know, even President Obama, uh, Barack Obama couldn't get in the office and just do what he wanted to do because, you know, but, you know, then, then you, 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 yeah, we, I mean, we know what's going on out here in, in the, in the uh, politics, but I wish that at some point the politicians in Baltimore stand for Baltimore City, especially in our underserved communities. I wish that you would take a chance on our communities and these kids that are out here that are lost and don't understand anything you're talking about and do something to change the perspective of how they think 
uh, educating them so that they don't have to do the things that they're doing. So what's going on out here in these streets aren't going on. And that's all a lack of, a lack of their understanding, a lack of the love, a lack of community, a lack of family. We all know what happened. We all know drugs came in our community and destroyed our cities, especially our urban cities. And at some point we have to start, we can't just, you know, continue to blame anybody. We have to start fixing it. And I just wish at some point we take a chance on our own people. The Inner Harbor looks nice. The Baltimore Arena, oh uh, yeah, you'll get some more concerts in there with this big new pretty building. Oh, Penn North is coming together and it's looking beautiful, but moving the black people out and you're moving in, uh, you I'm not, nothing wrong with diversity. I love diversity. Um, but a lot of us moved let's, out let's, and, let's, and let's, don't come back. <laughs> we don't come back because we can't afford it half the time by the time they get finished re regentrification. So at some point we have to make it affordable for people, we have to make it attractive for people, and we have to, as we're planning to redevelop, we have to figure out how do we bring back those people, those whole reasons we came into uh, uh, West Baltimore, Emerson Village, where now they're continuing the building of this property that Sheila Dixon started, or whatever that was they said she started up there, those properties up there across from, I heard they just sold Emerson Village Shopping Center. Um, I think that's an amazing idea. I Black just owned hope, developers. I, oh, good. I just hope that they turn it into something promising, and I have to imagine uh, they did that. If you notice, they just did that in conjunction with them, con the continuation of those properties across the street. So hopefully there's a bigger play in it and, and you know, it's enough of the murders and enough of the shit that's going on in our communities. Um, I just think it's time for us to stand up for Baltimore, stand up for our kids. And this is communities across the world. It's time for us to stand up for our communities. Any final thoughts, Frank? Uh, my final thoughts is, man, live life. Um, appreciate your bad days and those struggles that got you to where you are now. Because that's the blessing. The blessing is understanding it and knowing it, and and uh, it's it, it's a whole lot of tomorrows to go. Let's fight it one day at a time, and be vigilant and keep our heads up. There's so much more we can do. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you gonna, you gonna hit a, a bar or two before we go? No. Keep watching BeMoreNews.com. The news before the news, where we uncover. The truth. Breakfast with Donnie.